good evening everybody and once again welcome to the video uh, in this video i just wanted to provide or talk about what amazing insights data can provide data is truly the new oil in the modern world right data is everything right data is precious right uh, so essentially uh, you know from past couple of weeks i started scraping entire universities and colleges in the united states the name their ranking total application all 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 the data reviews and lot more details right now let me show you what amazing insights i can just provide you by the data that i have scraped right uh, again as i said um, uh, let me try to show you. so again as you can see right in the background it is still scraping um, it's uh, essentially sending it to my alk right now take a look what what valuable insight i'm about to show you okay so total i have uh, reviews for 702 universities okay total the total number of reviews that i have the total reviews that people have gave uh, for 702 the count is 6479 total in united states i have 3762 universities now these are the top state uh, uh, with the highest cost for books and utilities so anybody who comes abroad to us right this graph tells you very easily right uh southern Cal uh, sorry so, uh, south carolina and california has the highest cost cost for the book which is around 6 7000 to 8000 right so if you want to avoid high cost for book you can go for something like minnesota connecticut there the cost of books and utilities is a little low amazing insights right top 10 universities uh, with total applicant so these are the top 10 universities in united states with uh, the applicant right uc berkeley uh, around 10% right uh, we have university of california uh, right 10% number of applicants is there top 10 university uh, versus average acceptance rate right so what is the average acceptance rate uh, i wanted to see by state right so here you can see uh, the highest av uh, acceptance rate is in arizona and colorado right that's where the uh, maximum acceptance rate is okay top 10 state with average housing cost by state okay so uh, if you observe california and new york are by far the highest in terms of housing right very very expensive the rents are super expensive right so you want to avoid these states if you are trying to uh, go for a masters or a bachelors right as you can see amazing value that i can provide right so you are in california the average uh, cost per your housing would be around 15700 dollars in uh, new york is 14000 uh, dollars right so amazing insight the cheapest is texas because the, there is no tax there so it's pretty cheap uh, it's about 9700 dollars uh, state with maximum transportation cost okay so pennsylvania and florida has the maximum transportation cost on the left hand side i'm sorry if i'm scrolling a little fast on the left hand side are the state with the minimum transportation cost the highest transportation cost is in pennsylvania that's about 8000 uh, dollars roughly uh, median right and the lowest if you're looking at is oklahoma and south dakota around 1500 dollars very cheap there right so amazing insights top 5 state with the highest acceptance rate right so i wanted to see okay which are the state that are that have highest acceptance rate right Uh, by far alabama california and arizona uh, colorado are the one they have highest acceptance rate then on the left hand side i have top state versus average average asian count right so <laughs> clearly 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 every asian is going to california right it's the silicon valley uh, you know but at the same time uh, based on the graph the the housing price is very high the utility bills are high everything is high uh so you know amazing numbers right amazing amazing numbers okay let's take a uh, look at more average personal expenses by state right the maximum uh, personal expenses in california it would cost you 33000 right that's the maximum the minimum if you are looking at is nevada utah these are very cheap so here is 2000 the average expenses right um uh, boston is about $10000 you know average personal expenses by state amazing insights right okay hang on i'm going to provide you more top five state that provides maximum financial aids okay so when coming i want to see okay which state provides the maximum financial aid here right so i can see alabama california colorado are the maximum connecticut right uh, the minimum uh, the, the state that provides minimum financial aid are delaware and district of columbia nevada right so amazing um state with maximum student faculty ratio now what is this uh, i'll explain you in short 
So uh, let's say you have on an average of 100 students and there are two faculty, right? So 100 by two is about 50, right? So the same thing, if you have 10 faculties, then 100 divided by 10 is about 10, right? So you wanna have this number as lower as possible, which means, uh, you know, more faculties are available. Uh, again, it's a very interesting analysis, right? So on the left-hand side is the maximum. So Utah, California, and Texas has the maximum a faculty to uh, sorry student to faculty ratio my bad student to faculty ratio uh, california has about 40 uh, 40 the ratio is 40 texas it's 39 uh, the state with minimum uh, student to faculty ratio is uh, clearly west virginia oklahoma delaware right amazing right again uh, I, I can provide you much more but this is just the last one i want to provide maximum total graduate uh, uh, versus state right so i can clearly see that uh, most of the people uh, the maximum graduation rate is from virginia right minnesota uh, and the lowest one is in hawaii university of columbia and nevada right so as you can see right why we people are saying that data is new all right by scraping all these data look at what amazing valuable insight i'm able to provide Again, I haven't not even shown you all the analytics that I have done. That's gonna literally blow your mind, right? I have analytics by state, by city, by university, how many applications they have received, how many courses are there, how many financial aid they have, everything I have a complete analytic. And this is all current recent data, right? I have spent a lot of time scraping this data. As you can see, uh, you know, uh, it's been running from two to three days. It's scraping all these reviews, ratings, all these data, right? Now with this data, look what amazing insights I can provide. Uh, again, I'll provide you more insights about all these uh, numbers. Uh, these are simply fantastic. Uh, and uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. And as I said, right, which is why I keep saying that data is the new oil, right? People who have data can make well-informed decision, right? over their competitor, right? Which is why gathering data is essentially important. Cleaning data and keeping it in a very clean manner is important because then it helps you to uh, make analytics much better, right? You can create analytical reports much more faster, right? Again, this is just a, a glimpse of what I have been building, right? If I show you the complete dashboard and all, all the amazing insights I have, it's gonna blow your mind. I have financial aid, as I said, right? Uh, degrees, um, average tuition cost, uh, then uh, uh, sports sports aid, faculty to student ratio, student to faculty ratio, uh, uh, then a lot more numbers I have, a lot of matrix I have. Uh, reviews, I'm still doing uh, a dashboard on sentiment, right? So based on reviews, I wanna show universities uh, and sentiment based on the states, right? So a lot, lot, of, lot of cool stuff is there, right? Data is very, very precious. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.